and welcome to Cooking for Dogs. This week it's all about Star Wars and we're going to be making some Wookiee cookies. So simple, so effective. If you go to a Star Wars theme party, these are the dog cookies that you'll want to take along. Let's get started. In the first part of our video, we're going to make the peanut butter dog cookie dough. You can microwave these or bake them in a conventional oven. In the second part of this video, we're going to decorate and create our Wookiee cookies. In the last part of this video, we're going to watch Ruby the Chocolate Lab, Roland the Toy Poodle and Oscar the Palm Spitz battle it out to taste test and see who can eat the most Wookiee cookies in the shortest time. Our ingredients for the cookie dough, we have flour, rolled oats, baking powder, smooth peanut butter, honey, oil and water. Into a large bowl or jug, pop the flour, the oats and the baking powder. Mix it together until it's well combined. Next add a cup of water and blend until smooth. Add the peanut butter and the honey along with the oil. You can use either coconut oil or olive oil for this recipe. Then mix together until it's well blended. I'm just flouring my surface here and I'm going to use a cookie dough and roll it out until it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Choose the size cookie cutter you want to use. I'm going to choose a rather large circular one here. Cut out the cookie shapes and place them onto the baking paper lined tray. Leave some space between each of the shapes on the tray. Pop these into a moderate conventional oven and bake for approximately 10 minutes. They'll be crispy and golden when they're cooked. Now pop them aside and let them cool down on a cookie rack. Melt the carob buttons with a generous tablespoon of Crisco or Kofa. Your Crisco or Kofa is going to cause the carob buttons to be a smooth melt and when you whisk them together there'll be no lumps. Fill a small sandwich bag with the melted carob and snip the corner off at the bottom. Simply create the Wookie Cookie mouth. Make two dots on each of the cookie faces for where the eyes are going to go and then follow up with one dot for the nose. Choose three of the blueberries and position on top of the carob eyes and nose. Did you know blueberries are a great little superfood for your dog? They're rich in antioxidants and are a natural source of fibre. They're good for active dogs and you can even feed them as a treat on their own. An important thing to note here is that we never use chocolate in our recipes. Chocolate is toxic for your dog. I'm using a dog friendly alternative to chocolate which is carob. Carob is a legume and you can buy it from the health section of your supermarket or from a natural health food store. The carob melts just like chocolate does and it dries hard just like chocolate does when it cools down. It makes a great base to attach these blueberry eyes to. Crisco or Kofa is the magic key to melting the carob buttons so that you get a nice smooth consistency. As the carob dries, it can become lumpy. If this does happen and it cools down too quickly before you've finished working with it, simply add some more Crisco, reheat in the microwave for a few seconds and whisk together until it's smooth again. So here's the finished Wookie cookies. These crisp peanut butter golden crunchy cookies are a real treat for your dog. But don't take my word for it. Let's ask this very scary looking Dubac Sand Trooper. What do you think of these Wookie cookies? Mmm. 
and while we've been cooking in the kitchen, Ruby has been waiting patiently for her turn to test out the cookies. I think it might be a tie. There are crumbs everywhere, but not a cookie to be seen. Thanks for watching our Star Wars inspired Wookie Cookie video today. Has your dog got a Star Wars pet costume yet? If so, write it and let me know which one it is. Now you know how I love to get your feedback. Please write in and let me know if there's something that you'd like to see us do on our videos or something that we could be doing more of. If you liked watching this video, we'd love for you to share it. We'd also love for you to pop over and have a look at our other social media sites. Our Facebook, give us a big thumbs up like over there and Instagram and Twitter. If you're not already one of my subscribers, please subscribe to our channel and help us to grow. A big thank you to all our channel supporters out there for helping me to achieve my first million views and growing. Have a fabulous week and bon appetit.